Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to talk to you today about using the Shopify built-in risk management or fraud management analysis to help you make better decisions to reduce the amount of fraud that you have uh, in your store, right? So every store was going to have some kind of fraud, some kind of percentage of fraud. Uh, the good thing about it is Shopify, including in your plan, has some kind of fraud analysis, for example, what you see on the screen right now. And what they'll do is they'll, they'll use their machine learning and their big data to help you identify potential fraud uh, and then help you make some action based on that so you can lose, uh, you know, not lose your money. Um, so this is an example. For example, this order has a, a medium risk and it's telling you why. Why is it a medium risk? It did all these checks, right? All these indicators. And it said, okay, usually, you know, I'm checking the CVV, the three digit code on the back of the card, all these kind of things. And they identify that these two things in red are actually things that are pretty common for fraud. For example, in this case, a customer ordered and shipped it to an address that is very, very far away from where they are, right? So this is one thing that triggered and put it in the medium risk. Okay, now it doesn't mean that customers that order from one place to order to the other is fraud, but it, it definitely is a uh, trigger to showcase that, right? And you'll see over time that these kind of things are kind of common. The fraudsters, they're kind of doing things that are, they have some, some common commonalities in them, okay? So the good thing about Shopify is including in your plan, you have these tools. So what, how do you see these tools? So two things. Number one is if you go to your order list, for example, you can see next to the order list that if there's a medium fraud, you can see here, and you, if there's a high fraud, you can see this. If there's if it's low fraud, you will not see, for example, I'm going to basically add this, you will not see any exclamation marks. So then you know the order is okay, and you can probably proceed to ship it. But if you have these medium or high risks, you want to take a look at it. So what are you actually doing? Let's look at an example or two, okay? So if I see these things, automatically I want to go and double check these things before I ship anything, okay? So for example, I went in order right here, I scrolled down and I see the fraud analysis and I said, hey, this is high. And if I want to actually uh, see more information, I can click on view. So I have a better example here of this order and fraud analysis and this medium. This is what you saw before. I can click on view analysis and I can take a look at it, okay? So once I, once I um, receive this information, I can actually decide if I, what's the next step. I can ship it and just, if I think it's okay, I can look at the criteria here and I can decide, oh, this looks okay. You know, these things pass correctly, yes or no. And you can make a decision. The way I like to look at it is whenever I see something that is not a low risk, it's a medium risk or high risk, I also like to look a little more detail. So what do I look? I look, first of all, or the recommendations, right? Is there something that's very weird? For example, they're shipping, they're ordering from one country and they're shipping to the other country. Okay, so I like to do that. That's number one. Uh, number two, and I'm putting all these things into consideration for my next step, okay? The second one is I look at the types of products and the quantity that people order, and I look at and I compare it visu visually in my head to the common most uh, you know, popular orders. So uh, one thing that happens a lot with, with fraud is people order with a stolen credit card, very high quantity. So for example, if this had 20 quantity, I would probably, and, and this was a medium or high risk, I would probably flag it and say, oh, this looks like fraud. The, the other thing I would do is actually look at the addresses. I would look at the customer and see, oh, they had only one order, or if they maybe they had multiple orders, and I'd look at their shipping address, and actually I would Google it. So I would go, a, go to Google Maps, I'd type it in, and I would a, type in Google things like that address spam, that address fraud, and I'd look at that address. I would see if it was it's a residential, if it's a mailbox, it's a forwarding company, these kind of things that might trigger these fraud things. And so basically I'm going to look at it, and I look at all the data I have here, and I try to understand so if in this case, if the only thing that looks weird, these, this looks fine, this looks fine. Um, if the only thing that looks weird is the location, I can decide what to do next. So typically, if you're, especially if you're a new store, if you're a store that doesn't have too many uh, orders and it's not too crazy, what I like to do is I like to call them. I like to go and either send an email or actually I want to call the customer 
I'm going to click on the customer, get their phone number, uh, if they have, of course, if not, an email, and I'm going to follow up with them. I'm going to say, hey, you know, I'm calling from customer service. Uh, I just wanted to double check that this is, um, you know, it's okay. We've had some fraudulent things and we're following up, etc. If they sound okay in the phone call and you don't have any suspicion and that's the only issue, go ahead and process it. If you have any suspicion, they don't answer, they're in a different country, you're not sure, um, things like that, then you can decide to cancel and refund it, right? So th this is really the simple step, looking for anomalies, looking for these things that look a little strange. Number one, the, the analysis that the machine learning by Shopify gives you. Number two is things that are in common or not in common for customers, right? Have they tried to order again and again? When was their first time visiting? Do they Are they ordering products that are very high value or high quantity? Things like that. And so once you do that, then you can decide how to act otherwise. Uh, that's basically it. This is the default, uh, the default part. So last part is, um, depending on the Shopify plan you have, you may or may not have these exclamation marks, and you may have a smaller box here with uh, less analysis, right? With not recommendation. For example, only the full analysis or only the basic recommendations. This really depends on your plan. Uh, but other than that, that's it. So this is the built-in thing. Uh, in future, I hope to do some third-party apps that have additional coverage like insurance on fraud and, and other machine learning. But this is the default one. You get it. You should use it, right? Use it in your Shopify plan. You get it. So pay attention to it. Try to minimize fraud. If you have any comments or any suggestions or any tips I didn't mention, please mention them in the comments. I'd be happy to communicate with you guys in chat and share more details. Uh, really appreciate, appreciate your time. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.